and running at the girls' state track meet for Class 1A. It's a different format this year due to COVID-19 protocols. Everything is a finals race in day one meets. All Class 1A girls are today, followed by 2A tomorrow, then 3A Saturday. The boys are next week. Here's WCI3's Andy Olson with more on the first state meet since May 2019. Whether they've been on this stage before. This is my first state meet ever, and that was just incredible. Or have already won it all. After not being here for a year or so now, it felt good to be back. The athletes competing at the 1A Girls State Track and Field Championships in Charleston have waited far too long to be back on this stage. After missing out on last season because of the pandemic, Thursday saw the first IHSA state titles given out in any sport in 15 months. And Tuscola junior Alyssa Williams took full advantage, winning not one, not two, but three state title events in the long jump, 100 meter, and 200 meter dash. That feels absolutely amazing, honestly. I thought with the COVID year, it might have set us back a little bit, but I'm really glad about the amount of work that we got done. All the weight room, all the track practices, no matter how hot or cold they were, it was all worth it. Williams had to take down two-time defending state long jump winner Atlee Hamilton in the process. After scratching on two of her jumps, St. Joseph Ogden Sr. still managed a second-place finish. I was pretty nervous the first jump, and after I scratched the second jump, I was pretty mad about that because it was so close, and it was a really good jump. I'm happy I was able to come back. Salt Fork had the most dominant day of Central Illinois teams. The Storm finished third as a program. Nearly half their points came from senior Gracie Jessup. After finishing seventh and third previously in the 100-meter hurdles, she got it done this year. I've been dreaming of that moment since I was a freshman, and I'm so proud that all the work I finally put in has paid off. I just had to give everything I had in that lo those last couple hurdles. With 1A now complete, attention this weekend falls squarely on Class 2A and 3A. In Charleston, Andy Olson, WCIA 3 Sports. Andy, thanks. Great to see all of those. And congrats to all the girls on state titles and state medals today. Not enough time to show everyone or all the results. Head to our website, WCIA.com. We're back in Charleston tomorrow for Class 2A action. The boys are trying to secure their spot on that blue track. Only the top times advance at the Class 2A Unity sectional tonight. Urbana making a late run midway through the 4x4 four four to move into second and pushing the leader Mount Vernon, but they end up third. The Rams take the team title. Tigers second, followed by Monticello. Boys' state track starts next Thursday. Sectional softball.